a disrespect to our profession this evening. If you say it one more time, I'm going to hold you in custody and make you tell the judge in the morning that you have a law enforcement ID. You're when corrupt cops get arrested by good cops, it's like watching a reality show where the villains finally get voted off the island by the heroes. Here are three cases where justice was served right, starting off with our first cop who used his authority for the worst. On July 4, 2023, Officer Ryan Speakman of the Circleville PD committed some truly unspeakable things. Often, officers are accused of being trigger happy, but Speakman was dog happy in this case. Get on the fucking ground or I'm gonna send the dog. Here. You're gonna get the fucking dog sick. Get on the ground or you're gonna get bit. Police canine, you're gonna get bit. Police canine, you're gonna get bit. Final chance, you're gonna get bit. Sir, here. Here. Just as soon as Speakman arrives on the scene with his canine friend named Serge, he immediately becomes aggressive towards the victim, Jadarius Rose. Note that the word Stellan here is a Dutch word often used as a code word command for canine s to bite. On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! Get it off! Get it off! As if the menacing canine surge wasn't enough, Officer Speakman decided it was even better to tackle the unarmed black man to the ground. Mr. Rose could do nothing but beg. The aftermath of the canine attack leaves Mr. Rose in a messed up state. He's so powerless, he just screamed whilst pinned to the ground, but to no avail. You good, Sarge? Uh, no, why you keep bending my arm? I'm trying to get a wrap. Uh, We're wrapping it up. We're trying to get a wrap. Go get a supervisor to start down here for us. Some cops even try to help him, but even so they mess up, as Rose keeps asking them to just back away since they're making it worse. A trooper can be heard yelling repeatedly, Get the dog off of him! And Rose appears to be in pain and yelling, Get it off! Please! Please! Before the attack ends. I did stop. I don't feel safe. 
reason for talking to y'all. He insists that the police are overreacting with every response, and they didn't need to send dogs and 20 people behind him. I don't know why they seem like pissed off at him. I don't know. He didn't comply. I gave him three commands. I told him, find a warrant. If you don't get on the ground, you're going to get the dog. That's why they seem mad at me for it. He wasn't complying. I mean, am I wrong? <coughs> what do you mean? I gave you three warnings, did I not? Man, you just pulled up. I ain't trying to hear that. Did I, I, I not say? Listen to me. Shooting. Did I not say final warning? You're gonna get by the dog. Yes or no? They don't matter, bro. No, you didn't comply, so you got the dog. A 65 calling the record should already be in route. Go ahead. Which one do you recognize, really? Okay. Okay. You still need the truck, Harvey. It is obvious that Rose is already defeated. He got the short end of the stick for police misconduct, as highway police were clearly telling him to come to them, while Speakman was ordering him to get on the ground. <laughs> I'm just saying, try to help yourself a little bit, stay off of them. Loosen it up. No. Exactly. Even though Mr. Roses was in pain because of the cuffs, all he asked for them was to be slightly loose. To this, the cops had nothing to say, but it won't help you. You didn't stop. I'm scared. You were scared? I just didn't want to lose my life. Ultimately, this wasn't the first time Speakman has been rather trigger-happy. In a report by Sergeant Douglas, Davis says, Speakman allegedly unholstered another Circleville officer's weapon, unloaded it, and pointed it at the officer. Oh, it's horrifying. That officer did not act, at least according to the video record, the way he was trained, or according to protocol. On July 26th, of Tilda Ryan Speakman was terminated, effective immediately, the department said in a statement. Speakman's actions during the review of his canine apprehension of suspect Jadarius Rose on July 4th show that Officer Speakman did not meet the standards and expectations we hold for our police officers. This next case, however, is a great example of how corrupt cops can get taken down by the good guys. A disrespect to our profession this evening. If you say it one more time, I'm going to hold you in custody and make you tell the judge in the morning that you have a law enforcement ID. You're On November 14th, 2023, Officer Drew Scott Romo was having a fun night in the nightclubs of Arizona, but he pushed it a bit too far by becoming highly intoxicated and going from club to club. Eventually, the police had to get involved. They don't want you here, so you have to go. Dude. It's simple. If you don't want to be in trouble with us, just go. That's it. Dude, I'm fucking on your side. They don't want you at the business, so you need to go. I'm on your, your fucking go. side. I get that, but hey, they don't want you here today, man. You guys are fucking brutal. Hey. Hey. I'm on your side, bro. We understand what you do, but you need to... You need to I'm a law enforcement cop. Okay, you need to understand, hey, hey, you want to have a good conversation? Come here. What did he do? Huh? What did he do? He's, He's trying to fight everybody that walks by. Right. We crazy. kick, well, after you guys told us kick us out, we kick them out. Right. He ain't even fucking following no sense of business. So we literally kick him out, and then he literally asked you guys, they just stood up. He's like, you guys want to fucking call him out. You got to leave, bro. All right. Dude, Dude that's fucking cool. Arizona. What the fucking... What am I getting on what fucking What am I taking you out? What am I? I'm just trying to keep you out of jail. No, no, no. Bro. You want to be a California cop and be a dick? And you want to chest bump us? You can go ahead and do that. And guess where you're going to end up? 
in my fucking jail. Yeah, I want to know okay? where. You can either calm down and go home. No, I want to. What am I doing wrong? You're too intoxicated. You're trying to pick fights with people. Every club has asked you to leave. On what club? Times. Every club you've gone to. On what? What am I doing? I've removed you twice from two different clubs. Do you not understand that? What am I six or two? I don't know what that is. That's a California code. I don't know what that six is. Six or two resident? I don't know what that is. What am I trespassing on? This place kicked you out. On what Whiskey fucking regimen? You're not even here. I'm, I'm trying to It's obvious that Romo has little control over his senses and still is unable to understand the trouble he keeps getting himself into. The cops are forced to be confrontational. I'm trying to keep you from going to jail. I'm understanding. You're what not, am I on? Under, you're not understanding anything, I'm, my man. I'm trying to. But you're not. What, what are they what is, the, what is the hard part about just going home so you don't get into trouble? No, I'm trying to understand. Yeah. What are they kicking me out for? You're too intoxicated. In a state of Arizona. On what? Listen to me for one second. Get it through your head right here, okay? You've had too much to drink and you're not processing anything anymore. Arizona law requires that if a bar realizes you're too intoxicated, they must remove you within 30 On minutes. their own. You've been removed. There's no drunken public law. You don't have that here in the state of They're kicking you out because you're inside their establishment too intoxicated. That's a state law. They're removing you. They're obligated by law to remove you. And I'm asking you. Holy cow. Oh, I'm in fucking Arizona. Yes, you are. I'm not used to Arizona. That's what I explained to you multiple yeah. times. Do you, uh, getting it? Yeah. Despite this, the cop tried his best to calmly explain the law of the land to Romo. In his drunken state, he is able to do nothing but ask the same questions again. Was that the, when he was at the line, he kept on hitting the bouncer's hand. When he was trying to get through, the bouncer just kept on brushing him off. Oh so, hey, when he was at the front, they said that he was knocking the hand away, trying to get in and stuff. Yeah, I was, he, he kept getting like, and I was like, hey, just take a step back without a mask. Yeah. Was he, he hitting the hand away? Yeah, he kept doing that. I was like, How hey. many times did you say he was knocking the hand away off you? 10, 15. Ten, you saw it? 10, yeah. 15 times. I was, I was just like this. I was like, completely he, just being. Yeah, right here, bro. The whole right. time. Was, he got like, really this close to me. And I was like, I was like, hey, it's low, low, personal space, bro. And he just kept pushing, pushing. I was like, all right. You want to be a victim? The cops even confirm with the bouncers about Romo's drunken actions. You're too intoxicated to understand what I'm even telling I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Oh, now you're gonna go home? You just said you didn't want to go home. Now you, you want to go home? Are you serious? Now Let's, you want to go home. But sit him down. Dude, I have a fucking law enforcement ID. You, sir, are a disrespect to our profession this evening. If you say it one more time, I'm going to hold you in custody and make you tell the judge in the morning that you have a law enforcement ID. You're a disgrace right now. So you need to shut your damn mouth before I call your supervisor and we go from there and you don't lose your job in California while you're visiting Arizona. I don't understand. So you, so you close your mouth and let us do our job now because you can't. The Arizona cops were obviously angered by Romo's behavior, which was lowering the good name of the state police and police all over the country. You can't be an adult. Have a seat. I have your... Have a seat. Okay. Have a seat. I'll, sit I'll, down. I'll hold on. Sit I'll down. Have to fucking sit down? Yes. Kick I your feet a, out. Kick your feet out. I have a fucking law enforcement ID in my wallet. Hey. I told you what I said earlier. They got assault multiple witnesses watched about 15 times him swatting the hand of the security guards away in line trying to grab us. Um, we already asked them to go home tonight. Okay. So if you got a victim and you got someone that articulates it, he's already been kicked out of Whiskey Road. Come on, bro. Service. Are like you either, serious? Sometimes you got it. I have a fucking it's a ID. I didn't get the protocol. It's a protocol for this. I'm not trying to hurt you. No, man. The, the issue is... I have a fucking ID. I can't fucking take it. Despite the warnings given, Romo pays no attention to it at all, as he continues to restate that he has an official police ID, like that made him immune to the law himself. I'm in here waiting for our table, and he was just like, in my, like just looking at me, and I was like, is there like a problem? Yeah. And he was like, uh, what is that? There's gonna be a problem. There's gonna be a problem. Like, be a problem. And then that's when he turned around and started talking to him and pushing him. Yeah. Do you mind if I just get your guys' name real quick? You're not, you don't have to do it. It just is going to help. He's claiming to be a police officer in California, so obviously it's going to be a bigger deal. I'd rather so not. You don't want to? Do not, sir. I'm going to work on a citation. All right. I don't want to do this, but that's my choice. That's okay. 
Well, this was our Czech subject at El Jefe, and then our oh. Czech subject at International. Oh, so you can And then go we rode away, and now we're out with them for the third time this evening. Even the cop's supervisor was shocked to find about how many times Romo had had encounters with the police that night. Fucking ID in my wallet. We've given you so many times. We already talked. Do you know that you already talked to us tonight? Do you know that? Yeah. Do you, you remember that? I understand. How long ago was that? Minutes. Minutes. Minutes ago we talked to you. Yeah. How about a couple hours ago when you refused service into another bar and we told you to go home? Just go home. It's time to go home. You can't get into any more bars. Your buddies asked you to leave and you would not leave and you walked off on your own and they left you. But it's a bar. That's what you're not getting. It's great. Yeah, but I don't understand, Mom. I'm fucking under arrest. When is the fucking ball? Because you had a security guard asking you to leave and you kept swatting his hand. Bro, I'm under arrest for a fucking bar feud. When I it seems that Romo is just getting into grips with why he's being detained. You're seriously gonna fucking put me in this position? No, you put yourself in this position. No. Yeah, bro. See, this is the other part that's a disgrace to our profession that you're not catching. If you were a true cop and you cared about the blue, you would not put me in this position right now. You would have freaking gone home when I asked you to. Okay? That's the position you put me in. Yeah, I do think you should have gone home. Even your, even your friends. Where is your bachelor party? It's in fucking Phoenix. They're by your, you're by yourself, bro. They left you. Yeah. you yeah. They left you. Come on, dude. All right, my man. Yeah, you're, I'm just one fucking Romo is definitely not an average Joe by any definition as officers are treated with more respect as they are meant to be the protectors and guardians of society. But not in every case. You guys are gonna... you're, you're being arrested for assault and disorderly conduct. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not kidding you, sir. I have five people that provided me the exact same statement about you trying to physically assault them and then watch you physically assault the bouncer by swatting his hand away. They noted at least 10 times. Bro. The security guard noted at least 15 times. Okay. 15 times? True. Bro, I don't Do you have your sergeant's information? Bravo 33, copy 27, 29. Are you a sergeant? I'm not a sergeant. So you don't have... I, I don't have a forgive sergeant. Forgive me, who do you immediately report to? I forgive you, but he is not fucking on shift. He is hey, medically... Can, who, all, not who, on shift. Hypothetically, when you go back to work next week, who do you report to as your immediate supervisor? No. I will tell you that honestly. Do you have a lieutenant have, information? No, I don't. Okay. So you would like for me to blind call your agency tomorrow and tell them that I arrested you and then ask to speak to the police chief? Who would you like me to who would you like me to notify? Because if you don't want to give me any information, it's gonna be a blind call to whoever I can get a hold of. I don't have a to be honest with you. Are you I'm listening to be honest with you? Yeah, I would I would hope you'd be honest, yes. I don't have you're not so utterly drunk that he's unable to even give out his own lieutenant or sergeant's number. This is truly the farthest from what cops are meant to be in society. Hey, what's your phone number? Uh, my cell? Yes. My personal phone? Drew, man, we tried, buddy. We, I don't know how we you gave tried. it our we gave it our damnedest, my man. I don't know how you tried. Okay. Well, hopefully tomorrow when you're sober and you watch our body camera footage, you'll understand how we how we went above and beyond the try. I don't understand. Where I would see your body cam, because I didn't fucking see your body cam that night. You don't see that we're wearing body cameras right now? I don't see anything that you tried tonight. It's a lot that I would see. Floor. Right, copy yeah. that, boss. Because I didn't see any of it. I don't recollect like talking to you. Any of you. Are we waiting for LT bus? Yeah. Copy that. What is my charge? Uh, your charge again for the third time, sir, is assault. Third time? Yes, sir. I'm being, I'm being charged third time. You're being charged with assault and disorderly conduct. Even the officer is getting tired of telling this drunk cop why he's on the ground being arrested. But I think the drinks blocked out his brain. Hey? Yep. Is this a misdemeanor? Yep. 
Both the misdemeanors. Can you contact? Uh, I'd love to contact somebody. Who can, can I contact? You contact Sergeant uh, Sergeant Terabets. Yeah, is he in your phone? He's in Placer County. Uh, uh, six. Is Sorry. his information in your phone? No, I don't have my phone. That's not your cell phone in your pocket. It is my cell phone. Yeah. So I'm gonna remove your cell phone, can and you, you can provide me with that information. Can we? we grab the phone. Who's your coordinate? Do you remember? So, hey, LT's going to probably need to try to get a number from there, so let's just keep it open. Okay. And then you'll have your phone on you, so when you go down to the jail, you'll be able to call whoever you need. Can I contact right now who I need to? Unfortunately, not at this moment. It's the, a sergeant within sure. your jurisdiction. What I'm going to reference you to is my sergeant's on scene, and now my lieutenant's on scene. I imagine my lieutenant's going to want to talk with you and get that contact information for your sergeant. These fucking cuffs are pretty... Have to be on me. Alright man, I'm gonna double check and let me finish this. You're you got a large wrist, so I do. But I do I'm yeah. not supposed to be in cuffs, so Well I, I would agree with you, but unfortunately here we are. It's hard to believe that he's so drunk that he doesn't even seem to realize that his phone is in his pocket. No, I don't. This is what the charge is. I don't understand the charge. He's not he's not explaining to me. We can also charge you with assault based on you batting the security guard. And I'll tell you what assault will do. Assault will get you terminated. So better course of action is to treat the guy who's being nice to you with a little bit of... The officers are obviously getting annoyed by Romo and his stupid questions about everything. He explains to him how he's still being nice with what charges he's filing against him. 647F? Yes. Is that going on the record? Is what going on what record? 647F. Sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, man. 647F is going on my record. Spread your feet. I can't walk? No, you're done walking. You need to spread your feet. You have any needles? And I don't have nothing, bro. Dude, people are blowing up your phone, man. Yeah, I understand that. They finally have Romo off the ground and into a car to be transported to jail. What's up, man? I can't fucking breathe. Okay. Well, sir, at this current time, you are in a jail facility, and the correct term probably would be prisoner. Um, however, we're trying to get you released but you're not showing any signs of sobering up that allows us to believe that you can go out and act accordingly in society. From what I understand, you're dialing 911, you're continuously- I can't breathe, sir. You're continuously banging on the jail cell doors. Because I can't breathe. Apparently, his sense of anxiety didn't kick in when he was constantly bugging the police officers with his repeating questions. But alas, fate did not smile on Romo that day, as he was ultimately charged with assault and disorderly conduct, and pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct. Romo was fined a total of $650. But to put the cherry on the cake, Romo was also fired from the Roseville Police Department. Unlike Romo, who finally accepted his mistake, this next corrupt cop was adamant that he was right, just to avoid a measly ticket. To issue citations. Everybody goes 60 down this road. And I write everyone tickets. In October 2023, an Arizona driver later identified as a deputy was pulled over to the side of the road for his excessive speed and rash driving. Officer Frank Slaup initiated and handled the routine stop. Right. Well, I'm deputy. I don't need your back window down. I was trying to figure out why that one was going down. Well, I'm deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Uh -huh. All right. May I see your driver's license, please? All right. Any reason you're videoing me there? Is that bothering you? Not, not at all. So this is a passport card. Do you have a driver's license? Why would you ask? Uh, why would I ask what? About my recording. Um, well, I, I do traffic stops for a living, and probably in the last thousand traffic stops I've done, I haven't had someone hold their 
phone up and... The officer tries his best to provide reasons for all the silly questions this deputy has, despite being a member of the law. ...video me, so it's something out of the normal, and when something out of the normal happens, typically I address it. Boy, it happens all the time. I, I, I... Well, it doesn't happen to me. I don't know if you do traffic stops for a living, but I do traffic stops for a living, and this okay. doesn't happen all the time, so you are incorrect. Yeah, well, you passed me at 15 miles an hour above the posted speed limit, 60 miles an hour in a posted 45, as you weave through traffic, passing slower moving vehicles on both the left and the right. Okay, I, I, I read the board, so okay. Okay, yeah, so, perfect. See our registration paperwork, current proof insurance, please. Uh, insurance. Do I have to? I have to stop my report. If, if you would rather not, you don't have to. Are you going to write me for it? Absolutely, 100%. I know I'm not going to get any breaks because I'm recording you and this is... Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm being a member of the traffic unit. It is my job to issue citations. Everybody goes 60 down this road. And I write everyone tickets. No, no, I literally, I write everyone tickets. It, it is literally... This deputy also cannot seem to understand that everyone else isn't breaking the law just like him. Maybe he lives in some Mad Max type fantasy world. Everybody goes 60 and nobody ever gets pulled over for this. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty gross generalization spoken from a pulpit cops of misknowledge. Go, cops go 65 down there. Well, we can. Other time. We can. You can't either, not without your lights on. That's actually not true. If I'm responding to a call for service, I need to get there in a timely manner. You have to have your lights on. I feel like you think you know a lot more than you actually know. I think I know more than you do, which is really disappointing because you're a police officer. I'm actually a deputy sheriff. Those those two are different. Really disappointing. What you hear is your driver's license registration and an exact carbon copy of the citation, which I explained to you. On the front of the, of the pamphlet on the bottom is options one, two, and three. Options one, two, and three are the three options that you have. Okay. Okay, I just want to make sure. Are there any questions I can answer for you? Any other additional information that you need? Your name and badge number? Yes, sir. On the bottom right-hand corner is my name and badge. Uh, how did you uh, clock? Uh, radar. Certified calibrated radar. It's a... Um, no, you may not. And it's only because it's, it's mounted in my vehicle. And I have a, I have a lot of, of sensitive stuff, both information on my computer and weapons and stuff in my vehicle. Can, can, can I just look through the window? This man has such little faith in this cop that he's even unsure that he was actually caught with speeding. I mean, it's borderline hilarious. Window at it? Would you like to? Yes, I Absolutely. Think. Hop on out. All right, now be careful, because it's that's obviously. No, come over this side, this side. Let me put my window down for you. So if you notice right there, your top speed is, after you passed me, was 60, and as I was catching up with you, I locked in the speed. Yeah, you could, could have been anybody. I wasn't going 60. Well, my, no, the, the radar says otherwise, sir, so. Any other information I can provide for you? Cars full of road. Road is full of cars. It is. But you are the fastest car. Any other information I can provide? Sometimes people can be very delusional, but nobody could be like this driver, who refuses to admit his flaw, despite seeing evidence that's as clear as daylight. Very cool. Step on back. Appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. I like it. Hey, I'm good with it. Hey, thanks so much for having a good license. Don't let him drive. My favorite episode was that cocky kid that thought he knew the law. The one in the blue mustache. Officer Frank Slaub sadly had to let go of the driver, but at least made sure they switched places with the passenger. What are your thoughts about the whole debacle? Share them with us in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share this video if you haven't already, and be sure to stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows? It might be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.